Good afternoon and welcome back here to the, to the picturesque and historic Auckland Bowling Club. We're about to bring you the final of the men's the men's peers and it is the combination of James Williams on and Leif Selby of the Carlton Cornwall Club. Of course, they won this event last year and went on and won the New Zealand title. And they're up against the combination of Danny Delaney and David Motu, the youngster of the Ellerslie Club. And, of course, both Delaney and Selby. Delaney, of course, he represented New Zealand at those Commonwealth Games in Delhi in 2010 as did Leif Selby at playing for Australia. Selby, in my view, and I might sound totally biased here, in um, uh, my years of playing bowls and following bowls around the globe, Leif Selby has got what I'd regard as the best delivery that I have seen. He is just Mr Consistent and, of course, won everything whilst playing for Australia, now moved to New Zealand. And it's great to have him here. And, of course, his partner, Lisa Bredeau, has just uh, won the pairs, teaming up with uh, with Karen Hemer. And they defeated Paris Baker and Olivia Bloomfield of New Lynn. Uh, they, in, in a very tense final, really, I think that the score finished up. I had the scorecard here. It was only the last couple of ends where things got away a wee bit, winning 20-12. to 12. Uh, and really, there was a couple of big ends, and I really think a one, it was 15-10 playing the 14-10, a crucial one, a big save by Karen he Hema. That, to, to me, that was the turning point of the game, and they went on to win by 20 shots to 12, did the uh, Carlton combination. And so, sitting next to me, of course, Girardi, a very, very big Carlton man. So, have we got the Carlton Quinella? Hopefully we do have the Carlton Quinella. Good, good Sorry, afternoon, everybody. Sorry, Jared, I forgot to turn you on. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope so, that we hope we have the Carlton Quinella. Yeah, and of course last week, as I said, um, uh, Linda Ralph won the champion champ, women's champion champ singles. So uh, that's, that's two so far we've got, and um, looking for number three. Well, I'm going to put a suggestion out here right now to Auckland Bowls. I see David, the general manager, CEO, standing here as well. I'm hoping that Auckland Bowls are going to use this final uh, as a coaching as a coaching uh, source because you've got the, the youngster out there skipping David uh, young David Motu up against Leif Selby who, without doubt, in my years of following bowls, I put him up there in the real the top echelon globally in the top echelon. If you want to see a guy who's got a delivery. Um, close to perfection it's this guy right and, and his shot selection everything um certainly is uh, up there and it's ironical that both of these players danny delaney leading for the motu and of course leif selby were both commonwealth games 2010 and here they are now doing battle in, uh, in this <laughs> auckland event and leif selby and james williams of course the Defending champions, yep, um, and national champions, and, yeah, and national champions as well. So, but remember that the defending champions of their club to start with, correct? And then they've got to win the Auckland thing. So, uh, it's it's easy to say that you're the defending champions, but you've got to go back to the club. I always regard this as a the, the breeding ground of this tournament is the clubs, absolutely, it's not the centre. It's the club. So, Danny Delaney, of course. Now, obviously, playing at Ellerslie, was it? Well, it was only hung in. It's now called Royal Oak. Uh, and I see uh, the uh, earthworks have commenced there for the, is it the indoor green, which is going to be built oh, at, Royal Oak? At, at Royal Oak? Oh, yes. Yeah, the the new stadium on the front green, yes. Yeah. I heard like yesterday that uh, they were hoping to start in the, ne in the next few weeks. They got all their resource consent. Oh, they got the consent and all that. Yeah. That's, the, that's yeah. the big thing in today's world, isn't it? It is. It certainly is, yeah. That's a good bowl there, James. Yeah, good bowl from James uh, Williams, the former greenkeeper at... Uh, the, well, he's still the greenkeeper to the 1st of June. 1st of June, and then, and then he's going away, yeah. And an appointment being made... An appointment has been made, yeah. Good. 
good. Yeah, if, uh, if I can tell the nation, uh, it's a young guy called um, Patrick Stanaway. A well-known name in the greenkeeping uh, world. Yeah, well-known name in the greenkeeping world, yeah. So uh, James basically took over from his father, and now the son's taken over from James. It's, uh, so, yeah, it, that's we, correct. We like to keep it in the family at Carlton Cornwall. So uh, into a one to the Motu combination. So we see Williams get a touch on the jack or a touch on the jack level bowl. And someone might be able to tell me shortly. Uh, um, so David Motu, who's skipping, and it, it, how old is he? No, that I'm not 100% sure. Someone's going to find out for me. But he's probably about 14, something around there. So, 14 year old, there we yeah. go. 14 year old skipping this side against a, a, a world, former world champion. Yeah. So, uh, it's great to see, isn't it? So, not to be outdone, the youngster. Danny Delaney applauding him. And here is Selby. Yeah. So Selby's one down on the head, is he? Well, that's what the indication was. Watch this bowl. Uh, Selby's drawing back, going to get all the way back. Of course, his partner has just won the, uh, just won the, the the pairs. And very good delivery as well from David Modu, the fourteen-year-old. Fourteen-year-old. Yeah. Just going to be a bit shy of weight. And you'll see the delivery of Life Selby's. They don't get much better. So you've got the run in here to get past the bowl, trying to get under clean under the bowl and fall oh, in. That's the class of the man, eh? <laughs> what happened in the first end? It was a one-two. Yeah, I can see that. One, I don't know what two. actually happened. I was talking to Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't, apparently. I was talking to Mark Cameron, actually. All oh, right. <laughs> so here is David Modu. He was explaining to me what happened. Oh, yes. In his, in his pairs game? Yes. Yes. And now the guy kept trailing the jack. Oh, okay. There's a great response a great from the response. young fella yeah, and good. the 14-year-old. And Leif Selby and, and uh, of course, James Williams went on last year to go. I can't remember where the peers Dun were played. Dunedin. Dunedin. Oh, yeah, I was, I was down there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I went down there. As, as, the, as the club president, I went down there to keep an eye on them. I don't know where that. All I know is... Uh, Dunedin again this year. Well, I could, tomorrow can tell me. Yeah. We're, we're all around the country. That's all I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is fine. I love it. I thoroughly enjoy it. On the back end now is Leif Selby. Selby. Former Australian player, of course, out of the Rorilla Club. And again, that pretty good weight. It'll be one as uh, indicated. So we're one apiece of this 18 in no time limit final. Three and a half. Three, oh, sorry, three and a half hours. We won't need that. Uh, if the Hunter Bowls Auckland champion to champion peers. And as you rightly say, you know. These guys out here have all, and the guys and girls, have uh, all won their respective club championships. Um, and it was so interesting last week. Last week, we were in Wellington. Yeah. At the Bowls 3 5. Right. And we had the club from West Coast, and this sounds terrible, whose uh, name just slips my mind now. Merv Pascoe was in the, in the side. And they had a membership increase over one year uh, from 7 to 12. <laughs> and there they were playing Play, yeah. in, and, and won their West Coast playoffs, right? Yeah. Won the club one, won the West Coast playoffs. And then, lo and behold, to make that the quarterfinals, um, on the countback, were beaten by one shot to, oh, not, gosh. to, to, to make the quarterfinals. But the one to me the, the great thing about the bowls 3 five finals last weekend in, in in wellington was we had sides that were there who did really really well from the, the you know the lesser the lesser centers right. you know, and 
to me, that's really uh, was was fantastic. Sure, the final, uh, you know, the, the final with the Lance Pasco skip side, the Can- Can- Canterbury side defeating the Manawa two side, the Sharon Mark Noble skip side. But right throughout, there was these clubs that are just small clubs, and, and watching everything on the Facebook pages, etc. The support for the the clubs, right, is, and that's the the nice tribal things that champion to champion events and that create, doesn't it? Because yeah. as you rightly said, uh, Gerard, it all starts at your club. Whether yeah. you, whether your club's got a hundred members or whether it's got eight or seven members, which yeah. uh, Dobson. Yeah. But but but, so, but sometimes you get a, a little group of people, and you only get three or four of them, but they're all good bowlers in their own right, and they form a very nice team. Oh, there's been lots of those over yeah, the years. Been lots of those, yeah. Yeah. And that's why you can get these, you know, and the people are retiring and moving out of Auckland, and, and then as they're getting younger and younger, they're moving out as well. So those pockets tend to get a little bit deeper in the, in well, the provinces. Well, that's true. And, you know, it's from a Bowls New Zealand perspective, you know, one of the you know, COVID and all the other challenges of which we had over recent years is that, that uh, Bowls, in fact, has shown a 7% true net increase in numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we, we know, for example, uh, as far as social bowls are concerned, like Bowls 3-5 in a social environment, um, has exploded in a, in a lot of areas. It, it's, it's really, I'm not saying it's the lifeblood of a lot of clubs, but it's certainly created an income stream, a social income stream, which is all, which is all good for the club. So we, we have seen uh, an increase in, in overall uh, participation and membership. And even, you know, for example, to, well, the last time we had the peers, uh, the mixed peers or, and the fours in Central Otago, when it was said to me that we're going to hold the event in Central Otago, I was one of the ones that was a bit... Yeah, I don't know whether this will work or not. Well, as it turned out, the entry that we had for the uh, the, the mixed peers was absolutely outstanding. Mm. It re- really was. So, and, and and we were going to all sort of small places around the the, the, the area down there. Here's Selby drawing another shot. And to me, that's uh, with with doing that with the fours and peers. I and now with bowls three five as well. I just think. Right, we've seen a bit of a change yeah. of the acceptance of the sport right. and how it's played right. in the ages that are playing it. Looking for the jack here. Is the is Motu going to get tangled on the front? He oh, gets a, the, oh, he was up to the head. He, he was only he was close lucky. to being was right close. on target. Yeah, that's all right. yeah. He wasn't far away from yeah. getting the, the right result. Um, yeah. Now... Yeah. Is Selby going to play down through the port to set the shot pole? He may well. Changing his hand is Leif Selby. And he'll endeavour, I would say, he won't see any change in his delivery. And he'll try and play down to the multicoloured bowl uh, of uh, David Modus, which is shot, needs to get under this clean, needs to get under it clean and fall in, not out. And was only... Yeah. He was only half a bowl away, really, wasn't he, from uh, getting he'd be, the... He'll be there for two. To uh, get the result now. David Modu, after that very impressive second bowl of the 14-year-old from the Ellerslie Club. Certainly played this out on the safer, wider side. It is drawing itself back towards the centre line. How far is it going to come back? No, it That's won't. fraction heavy, eh? Just the one. Oh, one to Davy. One that was the it was that, that motu bowl that was oh, shot. Right. Okay. So well played oh, by the fourteen-year-old. Certainly not oh, overawed no, by the not. illustrious company no. of what he's uh, lining up against. And I think the other good thing, right? Not good. Thing, really good thing about the Bowl Three Five Finals um, in Wellington was the way how Tamara and uh, the, the the crew at Bowls, the, at Bowls New Zealand, well, uh, 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 there was a whole group of them there who worked really hard right throughout the whole uh, weekend. But every every side had a TV game. 
right through uh-huh. and, and all the section play. Um, everybody, uh, everybody got a game right. on the uh, on the, screen, on on the, the TV, yeah. and, and for a number of those smaller clubs, that was really, uh, yeah, they were delighted to be able to, and their club mates from around the country were sort of cheering them on on social media, and uh, really, really good, really good to see. Mm. I must confess, even at uh, Carlton Corner, we had uh, we were playing the uh, we were playing the women's uh, championship singles that day. I think it was the women's, and we had the live uh, the um, bowl three five on the big screen. Yeah, it yeah. So it was hard to you know watch one and then watch the big screen and watch one <laughs> watch yeah, the live good. action outside. Yeah, and it was well for me personally to have the pleasure on that last day to uh, work with uh, my good friend John Macbeth to do the commentary with. It's fantastic, and believe this or believe it not. But uh, John McBeth and I were born on same day, same month, same year, everything. Gah. Yeah, we're <laughs> not the same hospital, I hope. No, his is in the uh, South uh, Island. Uh, his is in the <laughs> s- they don't want you to swap the birth <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. I'll no. just start calling you John. Uh, no, his is in the South Island. Mine was in New Plymouth. Uh, ah. yeah. yeah, same day. And it's yeah. interesting, uh, another one of the, the, the sports commentators, uh, Nigel Yaldon. Uh, 14th of June as well. Not not the same year as, as oh, okay. John McBeth and I, but yeah, Nigel Yarden's another one of the uh, the 14th of June. But yeah, so it was great last week to do the commentary uh, with John, and also to catch up with uh, another sporting commentator, well, an icon, uh, Grant Nisbet, of course. Who Grant plays bowls uh, himself, uh-huh. uh, loves it, really enjoys his bowls, and. He was out at, at Nine Eye for a good part of the weekend as well, so yeah, very good, very enjoyable. Right. Yeah. Now I'm just looking forward to the nationals again this year. Singles and pairs up in Auckland, and I'm hoping that Carlton Corner will be the headquarters. But I'm particularly looking forward to the fours again down in the Central, Central Otago. Central Otago. Central Otago. Yeah, that was yeah. a great experience down yeah. there. Well played by David Modi, covering the after Danny Delaney's drawn t- two to the head. Yeah. Is Selby on the backhand? Yes, I went down when they had the Nationals last time in Central Otago, and I spent a, a lovely day at Omakau. Yeah, it's a lovely That's spot, a isn't it? Beautiful spot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, lovely spot. Yeah, we went to all sorts of places and uh, travelling around, watching the action. That was the, that was the year got um, COVID closed it down. Like yeah, we, yeah, we, we played correct. the finals, but yeah, we didn't uh, play. Uh, there was no crowds. Yeah, it was sort of yeah. all fenced in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's back again for them. They thoroughly deserve to hold it again. Well, of course, we were supposed to be in New Plymouth last year. Oh, yes. But, of course, we got uh, COVID yeah. d- d- destroyed that. So, uh, go back now, you know, start the cycle again. So, it, 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 it uh, Back in the central Otago area. So here's Selby again on his backhand. Got that very, very deliberate delivery. Might be a bit wide for Snow's Bowls, not kind of cutting in. Just lower the jack. So you might have heard. Danny Delaney, if you can get the jack around the corner, that's good. And he's on a pretty good line, is Motu. Just a question, here's the weight from the young Ellerslie skip. Not going to have the weight. And it'll be interesting to see. We might see uh, Leif Selby persevere on that back end, but just play with another yard of weight. Just to try and push through the. Yeah, I've seen I've seen so we play a couple of couple of games now. He's not really that aggressive runner at the head. No, he's not. Not like he, well, he saw um, um, Motu run Davy run at the head before. You saw Karen Hemmer in that singles final run at the head several times. Leafs a much more uh, controlled weight. Yeah, he, he 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 backs he he backs his weight and knowing where the ball's going. That's his. Yeah. And here's is Selby again coming down that line, trying to draw the shot, uh-huh. gets a slide and 
finishes just high the jack and scores the one does the Ellerslie side. He was only about six inches away from getting a really good result. Of course, Danny Delaney, um, uh, uh, well, uh, a winner, holder of a number of Auckland Centre titles in all disciplines over the years. Of course, played for New Zealand. Uh, the uh, played for the Black Jacks. Three one to the Ellerslie side. So Delaney. Danny Delaney, one of the great supporters of the uh, Taranaki Open Fours, has been a been a participant and winner, of course, as well in Taranaki for so good opening ball from Delaney on the forehand. Yeah, bowl uh, Williams, that's a couple of, well, it's a good two metres short. Just looking through the cameras here, in fact, I can, can see them. And Danny Delaney will just stay in on that backhand. Danny's bowls are getting a nice turn on that on that side, isn't he? Yeah, he's they? always had good turning bowls, yeah. uh, Danny. Always been a, you know, not a straight line player. Always had a good turning bowl. And James Williams now follow, trying to follow that line of uh, Danny Delaney's, but he's going to be, it's going to be short, again. short again. Yeah. And a bit of pressure going on Leif Selby early on yeah, in the game. certainly is. James is not, uh, not giving him support that he needs. So Delaney opened that. Just didn't quite put that the, the killer blow in with his third. And is short. And now, Williams now needs to get something on the head to give his skip, to give Leif Selby something to play to. Well, he's certainly got the bowl out on a wider arc. It's coming back now is the uh, Williams bowl. Sits inside, be close to getting shot. Yeah. Uh, and he'll, be, <laughs> he'll be relieved with that. Well, the good thing about he'll be relieved with that. that. You always know what's going on when he <laughs> plays his balls. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't leave it in the imagination. No, he, he doesn't. He, he liked that ball. Yeah. So the sun just starting to come out here. I look out to the northwest. There's a bit of brighter sky out there. We're just going with these skittery showers. Or not, they're not even showers. They're just sort of raindrops. So uh, here it looks worse on the screen than what it is outside. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So David Modu looks and like he brought that line in and will sit in, in that cluster of bowls short of the head. Selby looks at the head. And playing. His backhand. Oh, this looks. How's the weight? Certainly, it's on a good line. Just not going to get all the way down. You're right. It was a good line. There's no doubt about that. Well, <laughs> this might sound sort of yeah, a bit of repetition, but there's not many times where you won't see Leif Selby's bowls on a good line. You know that. Yeah. That, just the way Harry plays. Is it going to get the hole, the gap? Oh, got, trying to gap. sit the bowl was no you, to get a trail on the jack. How do you do that, eh? God. James Williams just saying, beat my bowl by a metre. So he's now Selby just endeavouring to beat the bowl by a metre. And he's brought the line in, though, oh, this time. No wait. He, he'll off. be disappointed with that. Play the yeah, he's played the bowl, same bowl. You might have heard Danny Delaney yeah. saying. And that's certainly on down there on that forehand. He was very, very close. It was the 14-year-old 
from the Ellerslie Club with his second bowl. He's brought this line in. They might tip the late Shelby bowl in. No, he's not. Just going to go oh, by. The other side. But the good thing about that, which is which is always good to see, Gerard, is, is that the shots that, that young uh, David Modu played, he, in the old days, some of the youngsters would tend to fly and try and whack. The, right. He, he played with control. Yeah. Uh, result weight, I suppose right. you could say. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't charging at the head. Gave his ball an opportunity, uh, really, on that uh, result result weight. So he's now like Selby on his forehand, trying to improve on his last that looks ball. Better. Certainly on a different, on a better arc this time. Coming down towards the heads, it's going to sit on the bowl and fall. Yeah. Yes, it will. <laughs> yes, it will. Two. Did he signal two? two? I think he signaled two. I think one of the really good things about watching a player and. and I think Auckland Bowlers, and this is an example Super. to me where you can use Leif Shelby as a coaching as a coaching uh, model for shot play, where he will always back himself ninety. He'd be a ninety percent. He'd back himself on the draw. Right. A lot of players don't. You know, they they try and search around for shots. They try and yeah. And if you watch that, you watch continuously throughout this game with Leif Shelby, and one of the most well, I could say frustrating things that used to be the case internationally. You knew he was never going to go away. Right. He was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That he just. That's just the way he played, and it's a very, very good coaching example of this. Of that's better, James. That's much better. One is oh, fell the right way too. Look at that. One is delivery, and two of his game management and shot selection. And really, with the speed of the greens we play on now, uh, Gerard, and the type of bowls that are played with, you don't really have to charge at the head at 100 miles an hour no. very often. Yeah. You can you can have a greater variety of shots. So here's Williams, the soon-to-be departing greenkeeper from the Carlton Cornwall Club, trying to defend his uh, peers title. He's made a commitment to stay with the club. He's made a commitment to come back and defend his, ti his club title. Oh, very good. So very good. Uh, he, may be, he may be leaving the greenkeeper and maybe you know, going out of Auckland, but he's not leaving the club. Oh, it's he's, good to hear. Uh, he said he's got some unfinished business at the club by way of titles and a few other things. Well, he loves his bowls. Well he played here by right. Laney. Oh, Danny Delaney. Just, go, just slipping by by a metre and a bit. But playing with the right sort of weight after Williams had gone close to the jack, you know, played to try and make contact or get the jack. And here is James Williams again. He's on that same sort of line. And duly applauded by his skip. And he'll be more than happy with that. Well, yeah, nice Lace Shelby head. just off yeah. the centre line and just over the head. That's a... Of course, Danny's brother, Tommy, who used to play as well. Another very good, another very, very good player. Uh, I don't know his brother. Well, represented New Zealand in the trampoline. Oh, OK. Uh, he was a New Zealand trampoline uh, exponent and uh, certainly was, uh, yeah, he was a uh, very, very, you go to Royal Oak and you'll see uh, uh, the name Tommy Delaney up there okay. and a, a number of, uh, number of disciplines and, of course, played for Auckland as well. Mm. And in fact, started his bowls at Rabbity. Okay. So on the backhand is Selby holding the shots. And <laughs> the ever excitable James Williams watching them closely, but he's going to be lower the head, a metre lower the head. And see his partner leaning over the fence with it. I'm going to say a hot coffee in a hand with uh, Karen Hema. Victorious in the women's peers final this afternoon. I think they might be enjoying a bit more than hot coffee. Well, <laughs> so here is David Modu under a bit of pressure on this, the fourth e sixth end. And it's going to fall short. Now, this is where you can. 
quickly get into a bit of a mire of lost and found with all those short poles in front of the head. Uh, where do I go? So Selby now going to his forehand and trying to put more pressure. He's cut it. He won't like that. Oh, it's a bit of a block there, but still, he still won't like it. Still, you can see Danny Delaney placing his foot out to that jack level position. Just encouraging David to be up. And that's it. And he's yeah, dropped that on short too. So more than likely at this point in time, looking at four. Yeah. Say. I just I just think Daddy, David will come up with his last bowl and really just get into that hit though. He's not gonna be short, he's not gonna be scared of that. Uh, well he has to hit. get you know, you could uh, he needs to certainly get some sort of contact to so here's Selby, is he out past those front bowls? He's gonna draw through the port, is he? He got the weight. No, he hasn't. He doesn't like that at all. Ah. But yeah, this is a difficult draw on this back end. Oh, David hasn't drawn. Be he hasn't run at it. He's just drawn. Getting past this front bowl and yeah. getting draw back to the head yeah, he is the challenge. He's, this is a good attempt. This is a great attempt from the youngster. Just going to go by, but that was a good attempt. And it was their only ball over the head, was it? Oh, no, there was one ball of Delaney's, which was well over the head. And we'll see what that number I changes. I think he signalled four. Looked like four from where yeah. we were sitting. I can, just looking at James's signal that he gave. Four. It is four. Yeah. I just heard him yeah. call the four. Sometimes with the sun, it's hard to see how many fingers you're holding up. Well, you could nearly, well, normally you'd hear James. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they've got the shot. Interesting. Playing it very, very short in length. Head is the card in Cornwall side. Oh, yeah, James is a short hand. Uh, he loves short hands. Oh, is he? James, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's his, that's his favourite. Yeah. That's his favourite. And Julie, yeah. Julie does that by yeah. drawing just in behind the jack. Yeah. My mother was a bowler, still is a bowler, well, still is. She was a bowler, and she'd always say, you know, when he was, she was skipping and the, the lead would throw the jack short, but then th throw the bowl over the jack, she would yell at the, at, at the lead and say, you threw it short, you bowl it short. Absolutely. <laughs> Coming in here now. Uh, Danny's up there. Danny's second bowl. Yep. There's plenty of room there for James to draw in too. Yeah, so Williams now on his backhand. You're right, there is still... That's a good bowl from Danny Delaney. Don't, uh, yeah, very good bowl. But if Williams can beat his front bowl inside it clean, he won't. It's going to oh, go by. No, Nicky, no. No, Nicky, Wicky. Danny Delaney asking if we've got two. No, I think he only signalled one. One looking through. I'm just, I'm looking through the window here, and he looks like one from where I'm. You see the bowl there at the, at the finish, and it's the old starweed scenario. Yeah. You just saw there at the finish. It just get the sort of. But, Back in front wobble, do I fall in, do I fall out type scenario. And it's it is one of the it is just one of the vagaries that, that you can get uh, on Starweed because it is somewhat 
challenging from a green keeping point of view to be able to hold a good speed on the green and keep the surface, you know, yeah. that, that. and once those those uh, starweed, um, uh, once they get up a wee bit in that little dome, oh, here he is, no, he's Selby man. drawing just in behind the jack, that'll be shot. And, and for those just watching at home, you'll see when the cameras go around, you'll see little look like spots on the green. Well, that's literally the, the, the cochula, the, the head of the cochula, so to speak. And Good try, David. It, it can become, they can just rise themselves up slightly and that will cause a wee bit of a deviation. And again, here's... Selby out on that wider hand, that wider arc, trying to draw in towards the head. Going to be wider the head. He won't mind that though. And there you head, Danny Delaney, come down on your forehand, and he can reach the head with confidence. Can the, the young uh, Motu? But don't go too wide. I just heard <laughs> Danny Delaney. Is <laughs> so. it too late saying that, Danny? <laughs> well. That's about... Actually, that no, that wasn't too wide. It, was, it came back to it, the centre line. It was but heavy. It, it's about, Gerard, that, 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 that game management. It's just, if you watch the likes of Selby as an example, that they've got... It's, it's about the percentage of getting the, these shots and, and, and keeping your bowl on the head in a the, in the, in the scoring position. But don't worry. You're going to hear a lot about David Modu in, in the years to come, for sure. This boy's got... He's got talent. As we see, Selby changes hand, just tips into the front bowl, got shot. Got second? Worth three or four. You might have heard Danny Delaney then just call, just needs to then hold that weight, tighten the line fractionally. Is it going to come back? One it is. And those are difficult shots to play, to be fair to the young fella. They're not yeah. to try and play those control weighted shots to try and reach, turn a bowl through, etc. Um, it looks it may look simple from where you're sitting here in the commentary position, but uh, they're not easy shots to play at, at all. So if we've got out there now, we've got the last eight of the uh, the, uh, the last eight, yeah, down to the quarterfinals, yep. of the one to five uh, event out here in front of us as well. And I can see two Carlton Cornwall teams out there as see, well. So uh, now the young fellas are doing well. You got to remember when you sit here, Jared, you're you're very you're neutral. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, if I was to take off my shirt, you'd see Rawiti tattooed in my heart, <laughs> mate. <laughs> so here's the first bowl of James Williams. He'll be disappointed oh with gosh. that. Oh gosh, well short. Danny Delaney. He'll capitalise on that. Eight three. The Selby Williams uh, combination leads after seven of 18 ends, and you know this, the the Selby Prado household looking for a Quinella. Yeah, they certainly are. So James Williams endeavouring to improve on his last bowl, which is a good couple of metres short, and to get an applause from. Leif Selby, and rightly yeah, so, draws just on top of the yeah. no, lower the jack. The, the first bowler, Danny Delaney, in fact, uh, was dead. So here is Delaney now on his backhand, endeavouring to redeem himself. Redeem, has he got the weight though? No, he hasn't. Oh, yeah. And of course, that, 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 that falling short and falling on the flat just makes it a bit more challenging. So here's Williams. Oh, he'll be pleased with that. James will be pleased with that. So a good, very good hit here for the Carlton Cornwall side. Delaney and a Ooh. touch. Well, it's opened it up. That's one. That, that bowler, Danny yes. Delaney's yeah. turned the bowl over, uh, which is beneficial for them to endeavour to 
play down to the head now because before it was a very, very difficult head to play to. Lads can either have to plug that hole somewhere or else sit at the back because um, it's a nice little uh, gate there for D David Mutu to run through. It's interesting, Lace Shelby as Plans well. Forehand. Yeah. yeah, well, one thing about Lace Shelby is that he's a wee bit different to a number of the Australian players, but a number of Australian players would try and play push and shove to get the jack to move back to take the shot away. But look at that. that, that you don't need to, do you? <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, who would have even have thought of that shot, let alone played it? <laughs> so, you know, obviously the shot is on the other hand to try and get the end of the poles on the trail. Devil Kitty, of course, uh, for David Modi, was with, with, uh, is with the uh, short pole of James Williams that can just push you slightly wide. Right. So it's a matter of how much you're going to hold up with your, your weight line. And as we spoke about, that's what can happen. You know, that's just... So now I'm picking, we might see, we might see the... No, he's not worried about going to the back. I'm sure he's still looking at getting another bowl on the head. Let's beat that blue one, he thinks. So he beat the blue to get to the centre line. So here is Leif Selby now, former Australian player on the forehand. World Championship, won the World Singles, of course done everything in his latter, latter days and that's what he would call pretty precise play really draw it under the blue bog he nominated the centre line and he had to swing over, the, over that way otherwise he would have hit the blue his line, that was his line he, there was so, no way he was going to stop on the centre line so Modu playing with more weight which is the right shot oh. got, got, got the skip on that bowl well played by the youngster still the one down you hear the crowd here applauding the young 14-year-old, and he certainly, you know, that was a magnificent shot played by young David uh, Motu there. Played with, you know, good controlled weight. It was James, don't you try and explain where the jack went. You just worry about drawing the shots. I think the guy you, that you've got, Skippy's got a pretty idea, what, good idea what to do. Uh, so I know who's got the shot, though. Oh, it looks like it looks like yeah. Leif. Uh, Leif's bowl out yeah. in front of us, I can see here. Uh, I favour his shot, and the Ellerslie combination have got the next two. And here's Selby now trying to get up to the head to try and get another bowl. And oh, on that's finished in a good spot, actually, because there were, could have been a straight-up run there for uh, for David Modu to drive or play a lot of weight to that shot bowl. Now you can see the V down through there. Yeah. Um, it, it, well, put it this way: the V on TV looks easier than what it really is out on the green. <laughs> I can assure you. So, David Modi trying to get to the jack down through the. Trying to get out of my way. Down through the porch. And going to. Oh, no, no wait! He didn't have to wait. Hard, very hard shot. One, one to Jay, one to one to uh, Carlton. So another end gone. It's eight ends gone. Nine three to the Carlton Cornwall combination of James Williams and Leif Selby up against Danny Delaney and David Motu, the 14-year-old skip of the Ellerslie Club. Earlier we saw the Women's Champion of Champions pairs completed and that went the way of the Carlton Club as well. Lisa Prideau leading along with Karen Hemer uh, up against the combination of Paris Baker and Olivia Bloomfield. And I think it's fair to say over the last few ends, really, um, Gerard, they got on the, the, the hema Perdot side. So they got on top, really, and they were playing under pressure, weren't they, the New Lynn uh, combination? Correct, yeah. The last few ends to try yeah. and to uh, try and get you know, scoring numbers. And Karen Hema played some... I thought Karen Hema played some outstanding bowls 
uh, and a number of those ends. There was a couple of big ends in yeah. the game. That there was a one we spoke about before where where uh, Olivia. Olivia got that jack in the ditch, magnificent shot that she played to score a two. Went under all sorts of trouble, but then coming down to that 15th end when it was 15 10. They were holding the shots again with the. Uh, I think Newland I think Newland was holding about two at the time, two yeah, or three. And, yeah, and Karen Hemer got the, got the shot, changed changed it all around, yep. and that took them to a sixteen ten lead, and that really just after that it was literally uh, all over, and it was set up very well. Really, well, two both the leads I thought played pretty well right throughout, but I I just thought that uh, Lisa Badeau had more consistency on on her, especially on one hand just got more balls around the head so to speak yeah and, and paris baker would be disappointed that she did play a number of short balls at at, at crucial stat stages in that game and you know no one means to play short balls no one does but it just can become very very difficult as delaney draws another that's three that's three magnificent oh, balls as well scattered Two right on top, one just behind, and James Williams. We've just gone and got a hills clothesline out to try and get, get his. They were in a triangular, um, yeah, let's say they're well spread. So we'll see now. Lave Selby, three down and three very, very good shots. Selby will be drawing. He'll back himself to endeavour to draw the shot. Well, Selby on the backhand. And how far is it going to come back on the way down? And he won't mind if he's over the head, actually. But he, you'll see coming back to the centre line. So certainly had the line right. And here's a chance now for David Modu. This could be a big end. 9-3, nine, nine, but this could all change very quickly. Modu going to be short. He'll be disappointed with that because... Oh, well, it might count. count that yeah. might more than likely would count as I watch yeah, that yeah. come up short of the head. So here's Selby again on the backhand, always chasing that second bowl. Is Selby, how much has he adjusted that line? Looks as though he's brought it in quite a distance, in fact, and needs to get. No, that will be for no. So, and there's no risk. For David Moda, unless he draws a jack level bowl that, that um, they can come off. So here is Danny Delaney giving Moda his instructions. And this is certainly going to be under the line. Oh, he will be disappointed with that. He had the opportunity to be up. Well, again, the old metre behind still counts, well, well, literally. You, you, you can't do any damage if you're heavy. No. Not in this head. No. So we'll see whether... It's whether, whether Leif's going to be up there now, because he'll just... Like, he, even if he cuts it down to one, he'll be happy, but James will certainly be disappointed. He'll be feeling the, the pressure. So will be... James knows he hasn't done his job on this Playing head. that Ooh. force through shot on the... Oh, he missed it all together. Yeah, you could see the shot he was trying to play yeah. there. And it will be, I would say it's four. Just get to get contact with the front, but was off target. Certainly gone out on the, the generous wider side. This time has uh, David Modu. How far is it going to come back? Still moving its way in, but won't come back enough. And that'll be a four, I would say, nine, seven, nine, Three. seven. Well, three. three, I think so. I think the I think the white one beat Danny's. Uh, beat um, David's, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what they signal. The drive we saw from Lace Selby, not a shot that you see him play very often. No, no. it's not. Uh, but the shot was on to play down through there with, and there it is now nine six after nine of eighteen in three. So at 19, that was certainly set up by two very, very good bowls from 
Danny Delaney, and he's opened up again here with a pretty handy opener down in front of us. I'm looking at right out in front of me here at the window, and just highlights, though, doesn't it, uh, uh, Gerard, that the importance that lead and peers. Yeah. Just yeah. J James, James really let the side down on that one. I mean, I know you can't win every end. I know you can't win every bowl, but, I mean, second, second shot is good. Well, here we've got the one to five peers. And this is after how many? Oh, see, okay. Here yeah. we go. Seven ends. Well, well done, David Ball. Well done. So, only hang a district side of Green Taylor and James Forsyth up against the Carlton Cornwall side of Mushkes Roha. Mukesh Roha. Mukesh Roha and uh, Jeff Patton. And I can tell you, after seven ends, it's the only hang of districts leading 11 3. Then we have got the uh, the next game along, seven ends completed. And it's the Auckland, Auckland Club from here. Uh, Paul Neeser and Gloria Akarua up against the Blockhouse Bay combination of Jim Hunter and Herbert Leo. And it's the Auckland Club who are lead, leading 11-7 after seven ends. In the uh, Carlton Cornwall again, and the next up against Royal Oak, up against Steve Fisher and Vili Fifitaya. And it's the Royal Oak side leading the Carlton Cornwall side of Peter McAvaney. McAvana. McAvana and Brett Christie. By five shots to three, five three to Royal Oak. And in the Point Chevalier uh, game, that's Point Chevalier of Jean Claude, Jean Claude, Jean Claude Fuller, Jean Claude Fuller up and Henry Farnay. Farnay and us up against the Royal Oak side of Arthur Frankham and Phil Ross. And it is 9 7 to Point Chevalier after seven ends. That, um, that game between Royal Oak and Carlton Cornwall. Eight shots and seven ends. A it's, singles. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough game, isn't it? <laughs> so here we see that James Williams bolting behind the jack. That's the shot bowl. Danny Delaney got two just lower the jack. And of course, that I marked it down here on that uh, that ninth end. Well, the, the, yeah, the ninth end. We're playing the tenth now. That great three set up by two, uh, Danny Delaney. Will that be a turning point in the game as we see? Daniel Motu on his backhand trying to. It's a great effort here from the 14 year old. Look at this. Draws a back toucher on the backhand inside the shot bowl. You don't get much better than that. Well played. A little bit wide, I think, Leif. And Selby, he is. Following up the David Modu bowl, of course, uh, Leif Selby can't attack the head because the, the next two or three hanging around belong to uh, the two Danny Delaney bowls, yeah. the lower the jack. Nine, six, nine, six, and it is Ellerslie holding the shot. Young Modu, that was a magnificent bowl that he just played. Looks like it's coming in, that's for a second. Oh, it just took his weight off. Well, uh, he's he's only a bowl, and I'm more than likely only a roll away, and he really did the damage, so to speak, with his first bowl. Leif Selby on the backhand from the Carlton Cornwall Club, defending champions of this champion and champion peers, trying to get down to the shot bowl, trying to get to the shot bowl. Oh. Jack, how's that? <laughs> How's that? Well, I mean, it's a cr it's a cruel lesson to teach young David Motu, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's a, it's brilliant bowling, brilliant bowling. Two shots. Most times you thought you'd drawn that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. But that perfect delivery, weight control, and just corrected off his first bowl for by a metre. Yeah, and that's just highlights. And as I say. I urge people, don't know what the result's going to be, but you don't have to run and hack at heads if you think you're good enough to draw the shot. Yeah. And the green's good enough for you to be able to draw the shot on. We just saw it then, didn't we? Everything is drawable at the end of the day, isn't it? Eh? Everything is drawable. Well, David, Sometimes you just don't see it. David Modi onto the mat, trailing 9-6, possibly two down on the head. Going to play with weight all the way through the head. Going to get the outside bowl. Oh, it took his, took his own out. Well, and James is. 
but only one more was the damage. You had to attack yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know. But he's got nothing at the back now, have they? I mean, if, if you really were a gambler, you hit that front blue bowl, spring the kitty back for four. But he's got none left, has he? Oh, no, ja um, Leaf's got oh, one. Yeah, so, so has. yes, correct. I mean, if you're a gambler, but I don't know what, 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 what the... I've got a pretty good idea what this guy will be doing. <laughs> and trying to just to beat the Danny Delaney front pole, get past it and draw another. That's what he'll be trying to do as it comes past us now. Just needs to get past the Danny Delaney bowl yeah. all but. But drew it, did the damage with his second. And we saw a great, a wonderful bowl by David Modu. And then we saw... A bit of a master class from the, <laughs> the, the touch draw um, of Leif Selby. And then Motu playing the attacking forehand shot and wasn't far away um, from getting the right result. And uh, I'm sure the young fella will have enjoyed, you know, regardless, enjoy the experience of playing up against Leif Selby, who I'm sure Leif Selby in his role at Auckland Bowls has got a badge ready for this young fella. Oh, player. yes, there's no doubt about that. And I just think for the younger guys, what life can do for their overall improvement, ability, and gain, and also really about personal life skills as well. Yeah. About you know how it's you know we, one of the dangers that we have in the sport. Of course, it's been long standing that sometimes youngsters can just fall off the rails a, a, a wee bit and that's where I think the very astute selection appointment of Leif Selby to his role at Auckland Bowls I just think brings that real maturity to a very important role Right Because David Murphy plays a lot with um, what's the little hill boys now? Yeah he does uh, Liam, Liam, Liam Hill Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Stacks of ability with both of, the, both of them, but just a wee bit of mentoring mm. um, certainly doesn't go astray. Oh, I think you're quite right there. Mentoring is the key there. Yeah. Another good ball here from James. Just going to get a oh, touch well on done. the jack. Yeah. Now, it's, what ends that one? This is the 11th end we're playing. Hey, well, they tell us about that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you, have, you can have bowls which are turning points in games, don't you? And he struggled for a couple of ends, but he's got, you know, and he's up against a very, very good player, of course, and Danny Delaney. Right. Um, but d sometimes you can just get a couple, and it just gives you then that, that uh, just spurs you on that wee bit. And well, coming up this way in the previous time is when they dropped the three, and James was well, well. He was. It well, was, off, was. Well, off the, well off the line. Well off the line. This time he's really got it right. Look at that. See, three beautiful And goals. I just heard... Uh, I just heard Lace Shelby saying, brilliant, yeah. and not a lot to play at. But believe me, Danny Delaney is more than capable of uh, drawing the shot, but won't with this. I'm surprised Danny's not up and up and even behind the head. Cause well, if, I, uh, I thought so as well. David's going to run at it. does give David Moda a show, doesn't it? To be fair to Lace Shelby right now, he doesn't need to go near the head. Uh, correct. Yeah. You know, you, right. You're in front, 10-6. Would, would you put one at the back to start? With? Oh, I'd put. I'd go to the tee still. You know, yeah, right. Yeah, uh, what, you know. La well, 10-6, ten, ten, you hold on to them. 13-6, 11 ends gone. You know, it just, it's... Uh, it, it's, yeah. And I'm sure Selby won't mind in the slightest if he's back over the head and he's on the wider side and the good thing of course about him staying on that wider side and not going to give any shoulders to right. the opponent's side and lo and behold looks where he finished yep. exactly where we spoke yeah, about exactly. being you know the ideal spot on that trail is a shower just skips through us here at the uh, Auckland Bottom Cup well, believe me That's what you see on the screen it's not as heavy as what it looks uh, uh, on the screen it's quite heavy but hip. It's the heaviest we've had because people are actually running away. Yeah, here's David Modu. He's trying hard here, the youngster. Just going to get under the head. Gets the Danny Delaney bolt now. Oh, didn't quite run didn't on. quite. Now we'll see oh. Lace Selby. He'll try and get draw another shot. And he won't mind if he 
moves the jack a couple of centimetres. And you heard James Williams saying, it's still there, mate. Yeah, so you got this sh the sun coming out and the rain at the same time. It really is a sun shower, isn't it? That's what we'll call it. Yeah. So here now is Lave Shell with his second bowl on this, the 11th in, going to the forehand side. Just again trying to rest it amongst the bowls. Some bowls will try and get through the, the port down to where these bowls are. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. What a great bowl. I'm just trying to see whether it's actually over the head or not because it j might just open up that shot on the other hand to get us four. But on the right hand, yeah, play your forehand now, something is it wide, the wider, the, the play, door's well, a bit wider. Play quicker now because there is a chance down through there now with that Leif Selby bowl. Is he going to be... Yeah, he's going to hit. He's going to hit it. And oh, he took Leif out. He and of course did then give the two two shots in behind the head now to the Carlton side as well. So the back's pretty well covered as far as the Carlton Cornwall side uh, are concerned. I think Leif would best play the same shot again and sit into the bunch. It's where he needs to be. But he doesn't, certainly doesn't want to give that sh shoulder, which he nearly gave on yeah. that last yep. bowl, nearly created the shoulder, which he certainly wouldn't want to do. Leading 10-6 as we play end 11. And staying down on that hand that we spoke about. He won't mind if he's clear of the head as well. And will be clear of the head. This thing at the back there somewhere. Right? Playing the same bowl as the as we're going to see now from Motu, endeavouring to run into the Delaney bowl on the back end with weight. He's in the target nice. area. No, he's not now. Yes, he is. Will chip it right out of the head. That was always on. Doesn't matter. Same result. That was his own, though, wasn't it? Three, three it was just, so. Well, there wasn't really many shot options on for. David Motu there to try and recover the position. Well, there certainly wasn't any scoring opportunities. It was more about trying to disturb bowls and move things around. Yeah. So, handy lead now for the Carlton Cornwall combination as James Williams delivers the jack on a shorter length head. Is it up? Here's the umpire. 13 6 as we play in 12 of 18. Don't think it's up. Leif's uh, already conceded and said, no, no, it's not up. And early on in the women's, of course, in the semi finals earlier today, we saw the Point Chevalier side of Joe McKenna and Jenny Stockford up against the New Lynn combination of Olivia Bloomfield and Paris Baker. And, of course, it was Baker leading Olivia Bloomfield who ran out the winners. The other semi-final, we saw Doreen Jensen and Jamie Delaney of uh, only, only Hunger Districts up against Karen Hema and Lisa Prado of Carlton Cornwall. And it was the Hema and Prado combination that ran out the winners. And then into the final, we went the 18 end final, and it was Karen Hema and Lisa Prado who are the Hunters Bowls winners of the the uh, champion of champion peers and as Jared and, Jared and I spoke about before, it was only really the last couple of ends where the Carlton Cornwall side got away, they sort yeah. of really put the pressure on the uh, the Newland side and Karen Hema played a couple of really really big bowls that, uh, that certainly made a difference it's certainly been the feature of those girls' play uh, all through yesterday and today. They would be very tight to start with and it'll be very close and then towards the end of the game, they just pulled away suddenly. A couple of ends, a couple of good ends and that was it. That's so, uh, James yeah. Williams draws, uh, not quite a touch, it just slips by that it touched. I thought it touched. 
Oh, yeah, I see now yeah, the yeah. Leif Selby has got the chalk out. He's marking that. He played, but James played his different hand, so... Uh, yeah, I was surprised he didn't back himself to draw around the front bowl, which is a metre away. 13-6, 11 of 18 ends. And of course, That's still funny, yeah. going on out here as well is the quarterfinals yep. of the uh, one to five uh, junior pairs. Another good bowl oh, here yeah. from the, the uh, James... The green keeper, James Williams. Here's Delaney on the big charge Ooh, trying to get it. Oh, it went by. What a waste. Well, my pair skip always says, don't lose your bowl. I don't care what you do, he'll say, but I don't lose your bowl. Well, the way on the way how the bolt, shot bolt and jack's situated, to be fair, Gerard, you didn't actually, oh, I don't think that's really the... I wouldn't call it the tactical weight to right. go <laughs> because there's a yard on. There's a, also it's about getting another bowl on the head because you know very well that Selby's going to make you pay. Yeah, see he's right on the line now. So, yeah. the, so the weighted shot, as we were just talking about, you just close the door on it. Yeah. Because that's in that direct line to the jack. Now, the pressure's on the youngster, David Modu. To endeavor oh, here's that. a good bowl. He's trying hard here's to a good draw bowl. it here. Here's he's a good trying bowl. hard. Here's Clip a good this bowl. one. Oh, 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 bad luck, buddy. Bad luck. He certainly has got some class, this <laughs> he boy. He certainly is. As you said earlier on, he's got no fear, has he? Aye, uh, he's got... You know, I'm pleased that he backed himself on the draw to get something uh, nice and handy, and he sh certainly did. So Mike Kernahan and all the uh, high-performance guy at Bowls New Zealand, start looking at this fella for the future because this boy has got maturity beyond his 14 years of age, got ability, and uh, you know it has to me. He's got a big, he's got a big future in front of him. Where are the Com Games in 2026? South Africa. He'll be 18 then, won't he? It's, yeah, South Africa. Yeah. <coughs> but these are these are the two uh, insane. Now I'm not being, I'm not at all being facetious in saying this, Gerard. But these are the players uh, from a Bowls New Zealand point of view, who are really now the ones you've got to start looking at, right? Uh, and and giving them the opportunities to get in good you know, good sides. Good attempt here again. Look, at just not going to break yeah. enough, but play with controlled weight. But yeah, the likes of the Seamus Curtins, the Finbar McGuigans, all of those. You know, it's getting them against good opposition. Absolutely yeah, it is. So, and, not so much the, well, in the team that they're in, but getting them a good against good opposition. And, and, and uh, you know, there's no... No disrespect at all, but you know, there's some of the failures that we've seen over years. Is we've seen youngsters who have performed very admirably in the in their centres, uh, but when they move to that next level, they haven't quite you know mastered it. And uh, these are the players that we certainly need to be. And like some Paris Baker, these are the players that we need to be putting in what we call the future stable. It's quite easy if, to be a bowler and actually hide a number two in a team of four, you know, and and you can win so many titles here. Look at this. Here's your class there. <clears throat> I think it's really good to see Davies skipping. You oh, know, so it, do I. It would have been easy just to to, to, to lead off the front. To lead off the front, yeah, and but just say uh, just do your bit up there, and I'll clean up afterwards. So here he is on the charge wide. Oh no 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 no. no. How many? Two? One? I didn't see what the signal was. Three. So I think that, Gerard, we just saw the class that Leif Shelby brings. Now you look around the young players out here, and there's some player here, the one to fives. Look at the ability that he can bring for those youngsters in, in, the, in the plane of the game. 
And we've seen some of his draw shots today. Which yeah, but I, I think you know, he can play that draw shot. It's teaching the others that shot to select. Absolutely. I, I think I think the mentality of a lot of our bowlers is run at that head and smack it up. Absolutely. And and this is where Leif is really going to show his his um, I say his class as a as a leader of a. Back, back yourself for that shot. Well, it's interesting. The higher up you get in the in the echelon, so to speak, you go past provincial play and you get into international play. And you can go back and look through a number of the games of which we'd covered in the international seat. There's not a lot of driving. Right. There's, because the players back themselves to, to, to draw the shot or to get second shot or play weighted shots through the head what I'd call controlled shots through mm-hmm. the head. Um, and that's the, those are the things that we have to learn. Here's a bit of an exhibition going on here now from <laughs> James Williams. Just draws one right on top of the jack. Mm-hmm. And to me, these are the attributes that players like Leif Selby, which has been sad, to be fair, has been sadly lacking in Auckland. That's no one's fault. Right. That's just the way it is. We've now got somebody. Yeah. And... Leif Shelby's got his ability. Oh, yeah. But the other thing we need is we need bowlers who are going to respect that ability and learn from it. Uh, well, I think in Auckland we've had too, too many Aucklanders thinking they already know, well, and abso- ignoring a coach, ignoring anything else, and absolutely. just playing their own game. There's certainly been what I would call some barroom inflated egos <laughs> of ability. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, good, good point, yeah. And you can't go back you know, the real player of ability and what they can bring to the whole aspect of the game, coaching, discipline, game management and personal development and discipline, which is something whereby, uh, especially, and and this is nobody's fault, but in some aspects in Auckland, we've lost that. Mm. You know, and it's, a, a number of these youngsters just think they can walk out on the green and beat everybody because they're playing the same people all the time. You know, this young fella, I want to see him, for example, down at the, the Burnside Under-26 singles. All oh, so right. And some of those events where by, you're actually playing against New Zealand representatives. You're, you know, you're playing against really good players, and that's what that's what's needed. And to me, the appointment of Leif Selby with Auckland Bowls, he's going to nurture that ability, and, and it will it'll pay dividends. So, here's the young fella now trying to get the shot, the jack. Yeah. We'll go by. And, and again, from a game management point of view, in my view, I wouldn't be having to play that shot because he's been playing those other shots really, really well. And I know they're behind on the scoreboard. and I fully understand that. But, you know... And he'll more than likely will hit it at some point in time, but you know, three down, and a run again, and he's wider, wider, yeah. And you're right; he'll hit it sometime, but he might be next week, and it could be five down and doesn't yeah. kill. Yeah. No, I think in that case, you know, you're better off drawing, drawing to save, drawing to cut it down to one. Just a gentle bowl underneath the white one there and sitting a little bit off the kitty. So here's an update, another update from the one to five peers. So what's Leif Selby? 16-4, only hanger districts leading Carlton Cornwall. That's the Jeff Payton side that are trailing 16-4. In the next game along, the uh, Auckland Bowling Club from here. 39, they're leading the Blockhouse Bay combination. Royal Lake in the next game up against Carlton Cornwall. Third drive. Yeah. And got the kill. Well, I, I know there's copious amounts of applause because he killed the end. <laughs> um, the score still remains 16. 16- 66. 66, yeah. I don't think it's that he killed the end. I think it's that he, uh, t- I think to the crowd, it's he won the end. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I don't, abs- absolutely. You know, you no, get, you're, down, you're down four or five or six on the head. 
And you kill it, and that's a win. And, and again, credit to the, you know, there's a lot of young fellas who would just fade away under that sort of pressure. Yeah. You know? But he but he hasn't, and, and that's, to me, whereby this guy has got what I would call that Shannon. I would, look, at his age, he's got Shannon McElroy ability. Right. And I saw Shannon as a 14-year-old when he was coming to the Kitty Hook uh, 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 the Easter event, the uh, singles, and, you know, I saw... Same, he's a he's a replica. Yeah. And Point Chevalier, Jean Claude Fulop, they're leading the Royal Oak combination, the Arthur Frankham side, by 13 shots to six after 11 ends. Now, remembering the, the after this today, these round these quarterfinals that have been played with the one to five pairs, they will in fact then go to. They'll be playing the semi-final and finals at a later date. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Oh, it's good to see the um, Carlton Cornwall team leading 9-6 now after 12 ends. You've got to be neutral here. I am. I am neutral. <laughs> it's, it's, good. It's, it's good to see the Auckland Bowling Club team. <laughs> uh, Gloria Akaruru um, coming in there is, uh, was, a good, was a good move as well. So here we I'm see. I'm very neutral as far as that's concerned. <laughs> I have one yellow eye and one black eye. That's fair. <laughs> That's fine. Man. Absolutely fine. So he's Delaney 16-6 after we saw the last end killed by the David Motu, the 14-year-old. Come on, James. The left room here. Yeah. I see he swapped his hand again. Now he's playing his forehand. This is where he played. If you go back to that ninth end, when they dropped a three, he played his forehand and played three bowls left, right and centre. He did. Then he played the 11th end on his backhand and drew touches. He then played the 13th end, which I'm replaying now, and he again was playing his backhand and drew three right on the book kitty. Now they replay the end and he plays his forehand. I bet if you ask him afterwards, you won't know why. No, I bet you you won't know why either. So Danny Delaney tips his own ball over, lower the jack, and that'll be the shot for sure. Oh, the that's, one. That's two at least, maybe three. As we play in 12 of 18. And remembering earlier on, we saw the combination of Karen Hema skipping and Elisa Bredeau lead of Carlton Cornwall up against the New Lynn combination of Olivia Bloomfield and Paris Baker. And it was the Carlton side who ran out the winners and they actually it was the last two ends really that uh, uh, they they managed to get that break and run out the winners and now in this final 16-6 after 12 12 ends so there's plenty of ends left 6 ends 10 shots it's the maths. To an end? Yeah. So David Modu just going to get past. He's going to draw a shot here. Well played. Coming right back to the centre line. Looking at, right out the window here. That's certainly the shot. And here's Leif Selby going out wider. Yeah, needs the jack, sits on the pole, and and the front bowl, Danny Delaney indicating the front bowl, the blue front bowl of his own is the shot. After we saw Leif Selby sit on the second shot bowl. Ah, oh, well played. Oh. Well played by that could be oh, David two. Modu there. He just just turned the bowl over. So asking about seconds, I'm pretty sure we'll just see. So we'll just see. Uh, so we'll be reaching up through the head. No, it's short. Certainly is. And narrow. No, he's got the good weight, sorry, I'll give him that. 
but he was narrow. So Moju now on his back end. Definitely He's got the weight. holding the shot. He's got the Looks weight. to be just tipped over a bowl. So we'll see what happens. One. <laughs> Danny Delaney just nonchalantly just. I didn't say. I it. thought I heard the. Two. I thought I heard uh, James Williams say two. Yeah. We'll see when they change the board in a moment. And someone will change the board, one would assume. So, James, your turn to change the board. There he goes. He's just realised that I've got, to, I've got to change the board. So, there we go. 13 ends gone. And it was two. It was two. 16 8 after 13 ends. So, you watch good opening bowl here from <laughs> Danny Delaney. Just falling lower the jack. Just a few specks of rain. Well, I wouldn't actually call it rain. It's more like drops of rain, I suppose I could say. There's the greenkeeper, the Carlton greenkeeper, drawing Jack Level. Oh, it just fell out. Good opening bowl from Selby. Danny Delaney, former New Zealand player, of course. On his backhand. Just question how long is it going to hold up under the line? Breaking towards the jack now and sits literally one bowl jack low. So we'll see. On the backhand again is Williams. Might have just squeezed that line a fraction to the jack. Good weight for the shot. Just fell away under it. So Danny Delaney keeping on his backhand and drew under those bowls to get that counter. This time looks to be slightly wider but might sit on the James William bowl and does. So holding the shot. Mm, he's calling him on that same hand. So, on the backhand, Dave Selby very quickly taking an interest in this bowl. It's certainly got a bit of green sitting on a different arc. Going to get under the bowl clean. Yes, it will. Turns oh. it over. One down anyway, holding it. Well, I, I suppose as well, if you're if you're the uh, Leif Selby side, you know, if we can, if we drop one, as long as it's one. Yeah. No, that's no, no. in 14. Yeah. Um, not many to go. We're not. That's four, uh, five, five ends and eight shots. It's still two an end. You, uh, and you, it, yeah. it's not easy. It sounds easy. It sounds easy, <laughs> I know. I know. So here is David Modu trying to get down to that jack line under the Delaney bowl and get down to the jack. Goes by, narrow on the head. And I'm sure... So we'll see. He's playing his forehand. Yeah, well, I'm sure his view is that he can sit on the back of the, what is the shot bowl, which I'll be trying to do. It's what he's trying to do. Might get a lucky slide and roll in. Oh. Nearly. So here, trail, trail the jack down yeah. through the port. That's what There's I was the thought. call from Danny Delaney to try and get to that jack. That's what I would have thought Leif was going to do. Looks fractionally wide to get that the jack result. We'll sit inside, though. He'll be quite happy with that. Another one in the catch. Yeah, another one in the catch. That's right. As, as Danny Delaney rightly said. So now we see 
And as you said, Gerard, Lace Shelby now going to his backhand and trying to get a bowl in their scoring area, really. Well, how's this one look as it comes down? Has it got enough to get under the bowl? Have a look at this. Falls in. Yeah. That's one the shot. shot. That's the shot. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what Davy was trying to do, too. I just think that um, Danny was calling Davy through a little, with a little bit of extra weight, and that was the... the, the yeah, well, correct. For, for, for them, it's the right bowl, because you had these ones at the back, so dragging the jack back was okay. But uh, this was a good call. This was a good call. And good execution. Yeah, I think... But I think James was... I think that was Leif's call at the end, though. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And Leif would have been quite happy as well if he'd finished on the other side of the head and still been the, the one down to just to mm. eliminate the shot options. But at this point in time, of course, that, uh, you know, you could say it's another end gone by and it just puts some challenges and rocks the bowls around and is it just one or two because it I don't think you'll be trying very hard do you oh no one 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 at this stage is fine play it play yeah just take one he says yeah, eh? yeah. don't worry about playing it yeah which it, that's not the one. Not, that's not surprising really yeah. is it well not at this stage no. of the game no he, he he played what I would call the the, the main shot with the second bowl went down on the head um, and uh, unfortunately the young fellow David Modi couldn't make uh, older around at all so why another end gone by it was scored um, we're, we're at 17-8 and mm -hmm. we're playing in 15 yeah, it's nine nine ends now and two and four, four oh, sorry um, nine shot difference and four ends so you're looking at four, two, 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 and a three somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. So they've only scored five times in 14 ends. Yeah, well, that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times in 14 ends, yeah. So it highlights the consistency that, that, that they've got within. Well, you know, both the players, but I think that you know, the big shots that have needed to be played um, have really, you know, I think Leif Selby has, has highlighted of his overall shot playing ability and weight control. And it's the lesson to me that's mm. been a purist. <laughs> to me, this is what the game is all about for someone who you know, can, can uh, just highlight and show that ability. We were talking earlier about this is actually a club a club event, okay? And in the Champion Champ Fours last year uh, at Pukekohe, I was talking to some ladies from the East Coast. Yes. And I, and I apologise to them because I can't remember which club they were from. But those ladies would travel up to two or two and a half hours to get to bowls. Correct. You know, because they're working way out in the bush somewhere or something like that. Well, we that to me is dedication. Marlon and I had unfortunately got called off because of the COVID scenario, but... Mm. There was, uh, at one of the Champion Champion events, there was uh, a team from the far north. And it might have been when we were in Hastings, I think, and I can't remember what particular Triples. event it was. Triples was over at Hastings. And, uh, and they had a couple of supporters there with them. Oh, yeah. And that sort of took up all but a couple of the women in the whole club. <laughs> and uh, they were having a triples tournament up at Waitangi. And... Marlene and I, were, they invited Marlene and I up and we were going to, we, 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 we definitely were going to go up. But of course the COVID thing uh, all disrupted that. And so to those girls up in the far north, if by some chance uh, they're watching, um, we'd love, to, love the opportunity to come up again and uh, spend some time. And those are the, you're right, because those are the nice things. Just like if I found in the bowls 3-5 that, that and that those clubs from all the little centres had won their way through yes. to be there. Yeah. And uh, to me, that's what... And, and their support from around their club membership, uh, their support was outstanding. And that's, to me, that really highlights the great things about this. Oh, Selby, just a bit quick to the... Trying to sit the Delaney bowl. He was lucky he didn't get a wick on the side of the jack and flick it the wrong way. 
But those are the great things of the sport that we never want to lose. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And you ever played an open only? No. I, in fact, I got invited to an event at Open Only a couple of years ago, but um, didn't go. And I, I, one of the things that I question a wee bit now, I, I look at some players who are now playing in events, and you know, I can you know, the players who are playing literally, I'm going to touch the bowl over it. It does. It literally playing in three centres. All right. And I just think the needs to... I'm, well, I'm not a great one for rules, but I, I just think there needs to be... You know, I, I know a particular women's player who played for um, an Auckland team in the Bowls 3-5, um, played in a Bay of Plenty uh, event as well, representing the Bay of Plenty, uh, NY Kato, and and a right. sim similar thing with in the men as well and you know uh, to me a club event's a club event you're playing a club to play in the, yeah. the next stage yeah well i know you know one one particular member one particular aucklander he plays in auckland and he plays for the auckland center but then he plays um champ of champs the in north harbour yes and, and to me that just doesn't seem right either and, and, and how do you get loyalty from the Auckland crowd, from the Auckland bowlers, if there's no loyalty from the players as to the centre in the first place? I think I know the player you mean. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Who no, the no, it doesn't is, matter at all. Who, but, uh, but, but coming back to coming back to David Moti, for instance, here's a boy who 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 is dedicated to his club, and he although he's playing for um, Ellerslie, he I know he was a Royal Oak uh, boy as well, and still probably might be partly, but he's an Aucklander. Yeah, he yeah. and it, look, it's great that Danny Delaney, one of it, you know, has been a you know, good bowler. Here, going to tip this in, he will. And it's great that Danny Delaney is, you know, who's been a you know, top line player, of course, well, still is a top player. That they're taking these young guys and and now, but to me, the next phase for players like this young fella, really, uh, is their growth phase as as individuals. Right. And if this is the sport they want to play. We've got to give them and place them in the best possible environment that is going to make them. Because the old story, better people make better players. You know, it just might sound old-fashioned, but it's a. Uh, here's a here's an interesting stat for you, on the odd ends. So we're talking nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Yep. Okay. Uh, Royal Oak is winning. Oh, sorry, um, Ellerslie is winning. And on the even ends, Carlton Cornwall is winning. Well, now, the only exception is end, uh, 12, uh, sorry, end 11. Was it when ja no, no, when James played the forehand and not the backhand. So he's playing his backhand on 9, 11, 13, 9, 11, 13 15. Interesting. And, and he's losing, losing, losing. He's just not picking that side on that hand. Well, this now becomes the vital end. You either win. So obviously, there's a side of the green that is more suited to him and his bowls. And yeah, he should, but be, he should be playing that side of the green. But, but you know, you and I have watched right throughout the whole day, and um, you know, the, the draw seems pretty consistent oh, on, yeah. on both sides, doesn't it? It doesn't seem to be, you know, like um, even last week on the carpet down at nine night, we found that the, or the newly laid carpet, the relayed carpet, there was just a wee bit of difference. Uh, but you know, if you look at, we've sat here all day and watched the arc of the bowls yeah. into the head. You know, and to me, a good green is determined by what it does in the last six feet, not the first six feet. Yeah, and you know, uh, it's consistent. But I'm not begging James per se. What I'm saying is, James and Leif had to play the same bowls on the same green at the same time, Absolutely. Going, going that way, and. And um, Danny and, and David have to play going the same way on the same. It just seems to be they favour one over the other. And it's not the last bowl no, that's saving no. them each time. You know, they're dropping a two or two or three, a three or three or one. It just seems to be f funny. <laughs> that's all. A uh, useless statistic for you. Well, I've, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done uh, some long cricket matches where <laughs> we live on stats. <laughs> <laughs> 
and in the men's championship final, semi final and final, the semi the two semi finals the score was twenty one thirteen, and in the final the score was twenty one thirteen. Yeah, well, you can, there's a great number of stats people out there, and so once again, thank you to Tamara, and who is the brains behind the Bowls New Zealand, who's bringing this coverage. Uh, with you. Oh, well, David, what a well beautiful played. bowl. What a beautiful bowl. In conjunction, of course, with Tamara, part of the Bowls New Zealand side. And she's the production lady that does all the does all the work, does a wonderful job. And the quality now which we're able to bring is this looks pretty close. This looks pretty close. Ah. There it is. There it is, alright. So Selby draws Jack level. So, playing under the head was David Modu trying to get to the jack or the shot pole. It's a tight line down there, and judging that weight right. Going to always oh, ran into oh, the oh yeah to the bowl of Danny Delaney. Turned it over for shot, and that's fine. He was in the area. Well. It was the result he wanted? It wasn't quite 100 percent executed, but at least he was there. Yeah, he was he in the he was, was in the area. Yeah. That's the main thing. He's left Selby yeah. now. And they're playing with reaching weight down to try and get to the bowl. Or Jack might get flick flick here. Might get oh. the still one down. No, no, no. But that's James is three. Oh, that's James's bowl. It yeah, is yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that shows James a bit of class, four. doesn't well, it? Well, it's not class. It's, it's, it, it, again, he was up there at it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, if you take about where he was on the line, possibly under half a bowl away from the true target yeah. line, but yeah. was in the area. Yeah. So here now is David Motu. Ooh, this oh, is under the line. You can no. see out of the hand that was yeah. under the line. Is it going to get any luck? No, he's not. I'll oh, give it back to him. Have it again. As rightly said, there's a three, and uh, this looks like shake hands time. It is all over. Danny shaking Delaney hands. shaking hands with oh. Blake Selby. A three, I think it was, on the oh, 16th yeah. end. Takes it out to 20 shots to 10. Yeah. And the combination of James Williams and Leif Selby have done it again. Of course, winning the uh, last year, winning the, uh, th this particular event and going on to win uh, from there to win the New Zealand Champion of Champion uh, event. So today, again, they have come... They've come out again as the Carlton combination and a Carlton Cornella because earlier we saw the combination of Karen Hema and Elisa Prado. Uh, they defeated in their final the New Lynn combination of Olivia Bloomfield and Paris Baker. And now we have seen the combination of Leif Selby and James uh, Williams run out the winners over Danny Delaney and uh, David Modi, the very mature 14-year-old skip in the Alistair uh, Colours. And just quickly before we go, I can quickly tell you uh, around the Greens, only Hunger Districts. Is that? 29. Well, 29-4 they're leading yeah. there. Match After 15 up, ends. 15 ends over the Carlton Cornwall combination. 17-14 to the Auckland Bowling Club. 17-14 after 15 ends over the block, Blockhouse Bay. The next game, the Royal Oak combination after 12 ends leading 15 shots to 9. That's the, the that's side, that's a Steve Fisher side and against McAvaney and then in the Point Chevalier side, a combination up against the other Royal Oak combination, Jean-Claude Fuller leading after 14 ends leading uh, Arthur Franken of Royal Oak by 23 shots to 6. Semi-finalists will be found here shortly in the 1-5 uh, playoffs, but they, of course, will be played at a later date. Yep, fourth Semi-finals. Fourth of June. So we bring you to a close here today of the Hunter Bowls, well, Hunter Bowls, the sponsor for Auckland Bowls, that of the champion of champion uh, peers. And I can tell you, in the women's, this is an all Carlton Cornwall day because we saw Karen Hema and Elisa Bredeau run out the winners over the New Lynn combination of Olivia Bloomfield and Paris Baker. And in the in, in the men's, we have seen the back-to-back back -back win from Lay Selby and James Williams from the Carlton Cornwall Club run out the winners over the Allersley combination of Danny Delaney and uh, David Modu. And uh, this, Jarrett, this is a...
This is the end. This is the end. So thank we're you very much. So, no, thank you, Gerard, for sitting here with us. So uh, thanks to all the team at Auckland Bowls and Tamara at Bowls New Zealand who have been able to bring you this Hunter Bowls, Auckland, well, the Auckland, Hunter Bowls-sponsored Auckland Bowls champion and champion pairs. And we'll be back for the next event in whenever that may Next be. week. Next week. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, guys.